So this is the video I will show you things to do in BIOS after you build your new PC. First one is obvious enabling XMP or Expo. For the most motherboard you can do it in the easy mode. Just tap that and you enable your XMP. But for many motherboards you may have to go to advanced mode by tapping F2 and then click this extreme memory profile and turn that to XMP1. You have enabled XMP for your RAM. Number two is to turn on the resize per support. And to do that, go to setting of the motherboard, then IO ports, and then come to above 4G decoding, enable it, and then enable these two above 4G MMIO BIOS assignment. And then the resize bar support. And now you have successfully enabled the total resize bar support. Number three, to disable the utilities downloader configuration for your motherboard. For this gigabyte board, it is here. Go and disable this. What it does, it disables the pop-up you get after you boot into Windows to download RGB software fans software for your motherboard, which is really annoying. And the number four is very important and I would really suggest you all to do that is to undervolt your CPU, no matter it is AMD or Intel. For AMD, it will be under PBO2 Carve Optimizer. But I will show here the Intel method. So go to Tweaker, then V Core Voltage Mode, set this to Auto to Adaptive Core, and then V Offset Mode to Legacy, and then come to Internal CPU Voltage Offset or Internal CPU V Core Offset. Remember to do the offset that is negative one. For the most CPU, minus 0 0.100 volt is fine and it will have very good impact on your CPU, reducing your temperature and your power consumption without affecting clock speed, hence performance. How much difference this will make? I will add that in the end of the video. And now save all these settings, check what you have done in the BIOS, that's it. Thank you.